Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to be tearing apart some old fly reels. The drag no longer functions properly on these reels. So I'm going to attempt to fix them here. I'll be going over four different types of reels. Here I've got the standard paper or cardboard gasket. Here I've got the three push pin. Here I've got the three ball bearing. And here I have a broken drag knob. I'll start this off with my Cortland LTD Graphite Large Arbor 90 reel. First I'll remove the spool here and take a look at the reel mechanism. And this little piece here provides the click and pawl noise you hear on a click and pawl reel. I'm just going to pop the center piece out with a screwdriver, gently pry upwards, and that will come out with a rubber o-ring here. Now this piece has to come off from the opposite side so I'll flip it over and look at the drag knob. This requires a very small flathead screwdriver usually uh, this size is suitable for like glasses repair. I don't have one that small at the moment so I'm just going to use the broken tip of this utility knife. I do not recommend doing this. Get the right tool so you don't strip your uh, bolt here. Lots of times these bolts are pretty unique and you don't want to mess these up. So I'm just going to very slowly and carefully work this out. Making sure I don't strip this out. I'm going to spin the whole reel. So I don't have to keep putting this blade in and out. Set this somewhere where you won't lose it here. Now I'm going to twist this counterclockwise. There's a little O-ring in this one. A little clip. Just take that out. And now on the back side, this stuff should all be free to come out. This pops right out with the nut and there you've and another washer and there you can see the uh, paper gasket and I just want to take this outside to show you guys the uh, yellow crud here it looks like some sort of calcium buildup so here's the gaskets for this one it's a plastic coated paper uh, I'm gonna put these in the opposite side they came out like flip them over you might have cork you might have rubber you might have paper this is what the drag uses to bite into and look at the back side of my drag here. You can see there's a lot of wear. This thing's really been used. Um, hopefully it's not worn down so much that it's not going to function properly. So I'm just going to clean all these parts up real quick. And I'll wipe down the spool while I'm at it. Alright, now I'm back. And I'm going to reassemble this. Paper washer first. Then gear. Second paper washer. metal washer this oh and check this out here's one thing I noticed about this second washer guys look it's uh, bent in a little bit from being tightened down so much so I'm actually gonna I think this is supposed to be flat so I'm going to uh, put this in the opposite way that it came out I'm just gonna flip it over and I think that that will help uh, help my drag bite down on it a lot easier and in the process it will flatten itself back out. So I've got the back together. I'm going to put this clip in and spin on the uh, knob here. And it might take you a few tries of assembling and disassembling to get your uh, knob tension correct. 
Now I'll put the bolt in and tighten it back up. And the knob feels good. So I'm going to put the spool back in. And we've got noise going both directions. So I'll grab some line here. Tighten down the drag a little bit. We've got drag, folks. I'm going to turn that up all the way. And that is a tight drag. And wouldn't you know it, I found the parts list here in a box after I tore it apart and cleaned it. That was a success. On to the next reel. All right, so here I have a Cabela's Prestige 2. Uh, this has no drag whatsoever. It just free spools forward or backward. I'm going to remove the spool. Take a look at it. Nothing going on with the spool here. Take this uh, screw out of the back. Unwind the knob here. And yeah, I think that there's supposed to be three pins right here. You guys can see there's one stainless steel pin there. I think there's supposed to be three. So I'm going to unscrew this back and see if I can find them inside or something. So once I get this unscrewed here, you can see a little bit of wear here and a rubber gasket. So this gasket, uh, I don't actually think this went with it. I think it probably had a cork drag here or something and it broke and was replaced with this rubber homemade uh, gasket. This is a second hand reel. So I think whoever uh, had this before me probably tried to take it apart and fix it as well. Uh, unfortunately, without these pins, I don't think there's any way to get this drag to, uh, to stick here. So I went ahead and cleaned it up the best I could. Unfortunately, uh, it, I don't think it can be fixed without these pins. Um, the way it works is the pins, you need three of them. They go into the three holes. Your knob here goes over the top and as you tighten it down, it pushes those pins in onto this piece of metal. And then the gasket pushes outwards onto the spool holder and acts as a brake. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to fix this one. Uh, I can't seem to find any parts online. Uh, so I'll have to call Cabela's, but I'm not so sure they're going to have the parts. So that's unfortunate. All right, so the next reel is a Echo Solo. This is a composite reel, and the drag is just really, really fetchy. Uh, the whole spool is really fetchy. The drag is fetchy. Uh, definitely does not work right. Uh, so I'm going to take it apart, and the first thing I see is a little bit of rust color coming from around the joints here. So I'm going to take this apart, and yeah. This thing is loaded with rust. I don't know if you guys can see in there, but just filthy, covered with rust. This thing's going to need a good cleaning. I'll take the back side apart, which is just one screw here. And there we have it. So you see the inside of this is basically uh, ball bearings, three ball bearings, uh, quite similar to the stainless steel cylinders that were in the last reel. 
but this one has all three bearings. One of the ball bearings falls out freely and the other two are kind of stuck in there. So I'm going to take those out and I'm going to grab some light lubricant uh, to lube these up and get them moving freely. I'm also going to grab a brush and a wire brush and I'm going to give these things a good scrubbing. Look at all that grime that came out of there. No wonder these things weren't working properly. Now while you've got these reels apart, uh, it might be a good opportunity for you to oil your reels. Uh, some reels require oil, some reels say do not oil. So that's going to be something I encourage you to Google. Uh, Google, Google your fly reel make and model and uh, you know see if they encourage oiling or discourage it. So I'm just going to take a drop of oil and put one small drop in each ball bearing hole here. And I'm going to clean out all the extra here, get as much of it out as possible. Put my bearings back in. I'll put the rubber o-ring on and then I'll wind this handle on. Put the screw in. And then on the back side, same thing. Put the screw in and the cap on. Now let's try it out. Much smoother. Oh yeah, so this thing is uh, functioning much smoother. That drag is so tight, actually tighter than the other ones, I can't even move it. Nice, yeah, nice and smooth now. I mean, as smooth as it's gonna get for a cheap composite reel. So now I'm gonna move on to the next reel. Uh, this one's gonna be super quick, guys, because I can already see the problem. The uh, knob here has broken off. This is an old Fluger metalist. So I think the knob can be obtained through the website, the Fluger website here. And I also found a listing here on eBay for a used one. It's a little scuffed up, but I think I might even go with that one. So I'll just chisel out this broken piece very carefully as not to strip the threads. Buy the new knob, put it on, and be good to go. All right, guys, so that was the video. Uh, I know this was pretty broad and quick, but as you can see from the video, no two fly reels seem to be alike. Uh, they're all similar, but they all have some differences. So if you're going to try this yourself, it's real easy. The number one thing is don't lose parts. Make sure you're working in a space that's secure, where things aren't going to be rolling off the table, where you're not going to be losing stuff off the floor, because like those little cylinder uh, drag plate push pins, those things are very small and hard to find. So hopefully this gives you some confidence to go ahead and try this and tackle it yourself. Hopefully the issue is it just needs a good cleaning. And remember guys, don't forget to do regular maintenance on those fly reels. You know, whether it be that the reel needs oil or just a good cleaning. Don't neglect those things and it won't get to the point of your drag breaking on you. So that's it for today's video guys. Go ahead and smash the subscribe button for more videos like this in the future. Hit the like button, leave a comment. Till next time guys, catch you later.